your Sussex County chiropractor, Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. Here with Laura today. Laura's in here. She's been coming in because she's been having for what, three years? Yeah. She's been having neck pain. It's like hard as a rock in this area of her muscle. And today it's about a two out of 10 for the mm -hmm. discomfort. This is maybe her fifth visit with us. And uh, we're loosening it up with some techniques that I've been doing. She's tried, you tried physical therapy, you tried another chiropractor, you've tried uh, acupuncture, right? Uh, or uh, massage. Massage, I've tried injections, physical therapy, pretty much everything. She's tried it all and it's not going away. We've been breaking it up, it's getting better. A lot of it we're doing postural exercises too, which, which we have on our YouTube channel. You can find the posture exercises that we have. She also is having a little bit of spinal pain today, going all the way from the top down to the bottom, where her like tailbone is. And that's about a three out of 10. Woke her up last night. That's really uncomfortable, so we're gonna work on that today too. Uh, is that everything? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna get started. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna loosen up the levator scapula. You're gonna go from here, go across your chest, and then grab that elbow. Pull it in nice and tight, good. And same thing as always, let me know if the pressure's too much. And I can always go a little bit lighter, go ahead and pull again. How are we doing so far? Okay. And you've been working on those posture exercises? Yeah, I did the driving thing too. Good, good. I told my mom that. There you go. That's that's the good thing about the advice you get in here. You can share with other people, and then other people benefit too. Good. And what position were you sleeping in last night? Backside or stomach? Uh, I woke up on my back, but okay. I think because my neck's gotten looser, I've been turning to my left side. Okay. So when you initially tried to fall asleep. Do you remember? I, try, I fall asleep on my right side. Okay. When you sleep, do you put a pillow between your knees when you're sleeping on your I side? I put my blanket on the table. Good. Okay. Something I can't have my knees touch. Yeah. That's and you know that and I may have be the a, my pillow. So. And you like the my pillow, right? I love the my pillow. We have we hear people telling us about my pillow. Some of them hate it. Some of them love it. No one really is like, eh, it's fine. It, it, it's kind of one of those things I think you have to figure out what firmness works for you. Yeah, but you also you have dryer. to give it enough time. It's yeah. not like a miracle of the night. Yeah. But we swear by it. And do two more of these. Well, then that's the same with the mattress. You buy a mattress, you gotta sleep on it for at least a couple nights yeah, exactly. before you make a decision, which is why they have that return policy, yeah. usually. And one more here. You having any headaches at all? Raise this hand up in the air and then put your hand down onto your low back and we're going to repeat that. Good, and keep going. I'm going to let you move with it. So you busy today? Um, I think so. I'm going to take the dog for a while before it rains. Yeah, good idea. We're supposed to get a big storm tomorrow. Yep. Well, are we getting snow or rain? I think it's supposed to change into snow. Yeah. It's going to rain and then rain into snow. But it might be like our last snowfall. Two more of these. On the walking is going to feel good on the back too. Yeah, that's why I got to get the healthy. Good idea. A lot of people, when they have back pain, they think they need to rest and sit, and then they're binge watching Netflix or something, and then they, they go, Why is my back not getting better? It's really walking is yeah. so good for the low back. Sit just in one standing. spot's really good. Like and standing, you said? Yeah. Well, I was busy with my dad when my back pain, so it's like, you stand up and then like, Way back and forth, kind of like moving his hips. Yep, kind of moving his position around. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna use the instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization tool. <laughs> they have a nice long name for that. I'm just gonna move this over. Very good. So, this has been one of the most effective things for her. Um, we're really getting a lot of progress. Loosening this up. 
Um, it's basically just a, a tool, and you take this and you rub it along in the muscle. And yeah, if you want to get close in there, that's fine um, to see what's going on. We're basically getting a redness response as we go along. And Laura has been really good with letting me know when um, it's too much pressure. And uh, she's, you're kind of tough though. <laughs> she really kind of can handle it, so. I make um, the doctors. Yes, exactly. You make me more sore than I make you because you can handle it. Um, but we can do it to all different types of uh, tensions and pressures. Really doesn't need to be too much all the time. And this has the, gotten better. Well, yeah, this has really improved. Um, and she's gotten imaging done, right? Yeah. And there's, they don't know what it is. They don't know why it's, it's hard. But really what we found is not only this helping, but I mentioned the posture exercises. When she does the posture exercise, after she relaxes with it, the, the hardness of the muscle really goes down a lot. It's really like a lot of posture related stuff. And you told me your dad's kind of like tough yeah. on you with posture. So she's maybe been hearing that for a while, yeah. right? I always heard the posture. No, always shoulders back, right? Yeah. So we've, we've adjusted that with her. And are you feeling more comfortable with the neutral posture now? Yeah. You get kind of used to it after a while. Usually about two to three weeks of doing the exercises, you find a new normal and it's not as uncomfortable anymore. So you can see like right in here, it's getting pretty red. And that's a spot that we need to focus on. If I slow down, you see a little bit of more darkness in that area. And that's blood flow going into this area, which is going to help loosen this muscle up, really get it moving better again. Yep. It's hard to flow when the muscles are so tight. It puts extra pressure in the area. So loosen it all up, get some attention into this area. And then we're gonna try something a little different too today. Shrug your left shoulder, uh, shrug it upward, wow. good, and then down. Keep doing that for me. So now we're actually activating the muscle while we're doing this release. And yeah, that, don't need to do that, that's not gonna help you too much. But as we keep doing this, it's getting even redder because we're activating the muscle while we're loosening it. This is an interesting, like, kind of like a modification of this technique. Because really... it's pushing it up to the and other you're feeling tight part. It. Yeah, and you're feeling it, right? Yeah. And we'll do about five more of these shrugs. And one more here. Good. So after doing this, that one spot is much softer to the touch. Go back to your original posture that you had before you came in here. So it's still a little hard, she goes back, and it's loosening up again. It's a, this isn't bad. It's really like kind of shifting down here. And what we noticed before we rolled the camera is that this muscle tightness, this little like rock for lack of a better term, is uh, getting like thinner. It's not necessarily just getting softer, but it's getting less wide. All right, we're gonna go face down. You may want to take the glasses off there into some of the adjusting. So down the low back too is bothering you, right? Yeah, like all here. So we're gonna loosen up. Usual pain, but it's usual pain? That's like where I've always had the back pain, but like right. And relax this leg. This muscle, or these muscles I should say, these hamstring muscles, mm -hmm. if they get tight, they yeah. yank on your pelvis and then they can cause low back pain. So that's why we're gonna loosen up these muscles today. This is a little different. You're not used to this. I don't think we've ever done it, right? I think we did it one time. One time, yeah. But I can feel it when you do it. Yeah. How long do you plan on walking today? Uh, I'm gonna go to the Glen today. We'll see. The dogs usually don't go out, but I got that new uh, cover thing for the back seat. Like on, I got on Amazon, like covered the back seat, so then all... Yeah, so it doesn't mess up your car? Yeah. So, yeah. And relax here. Well, they're in for a treat today, huh? Yes, they are. Very nice. Yeah, and my dad will go soon, and I'll get them out, 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 and I'll
Well, do you take them off the leash when you take them on a walk? No. No, they just keep running and running. Yeah, they're bad. Yeah. Sometimes. Because the one that has like conjuring it in it, so it's not a soft and cheap at Yeah. But they really honestly listen to me to death. Right. I don't know why, but. Well, you're their owner, right? Yeah. And it's weird how dogs kind of sense who they're. they're yeah, well, they'll sold. know they'll get in trouble, like, with me. Yeah. <laughs> and I won't. Like, when my parents come in the house and they'll go crazy, they'll get a treat. When I come in, they know that, no, and she's just gonna say hello, they're not gonna get a treat. Right, it's not an automatic treat. Just yeah. You are the treat. They yeah, home, right? exactly. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more strict with that than that. Yeah. My one dog keeps drinking all of my cat's water. Really? It's super weird. <laughs> That's but he has his own water. Yeah, so I don't know, like I don't know why she kept doing it. Two times this morning she did it. Like, what the heck, Maggie? Does the cat have like a different water bowl with yeah. like a filtration system? And no, stuff? it's just like uh, a just little a bowl. bowl. Yeah. And the cat will go to the dog bowl when she doesn't have water. Right, okay. And that makes sense. So like what the heck what are you doing this for? And it's this tiny little bowl. Yeah. So it only like a few licks and she come with the water, but it's not good for cat on the floor. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and breathe in and breathe out. Let that drop all the way down. Good. And breathe in and out here. Good. On your back, we face Can up. Can you do the that thing first? The, the roll? Yeah, they do the other thing. Yeah. And relax your hip. Good. Yeah, this is a nice move. Really opens up the joints in the low back and the lower thoracic spine. Helps with the tightness in the QL muscle. Good. Sometimes we get some cracks and pops, not always. Which uh, Zach Brown concert did you go to on here? Um, the this one in the center. Oh, cool. It was so hot. Was it? Oh my god, it was like, <laughs> it was absurd. Were you in the, uh, the field? No, we had Lawn seats. seats. Okay. We had like actual seats, but it was so hot, it was like unbearable. Yeah, that's tough when you go in the summertime. Yeah, I mean, especially around here. Like Zach was like profusely sweat. Oh yeah, you're probably thinking again when he's gonna book his tour. Maybe we'll do it closer to May or something. Yeah, when he's here. But also the lights make your back, it, the up. lights make it so hot. Oh yeah, for him. Yeah. Oh man. And then they shot me on you too. Yeah. But, like oh. bend this knee, cross here. <laughs> and put this hand on top of this up, so let's switch it just a little. And breathe out. Only one on that side. Just one. And relax this. Yeah, I'm going to uh, an accountant I know. Breathe in and out. He's actually doing a concert. He plays the saxophone. Well, that's so, cool. And he's doing something at BB King's in New York City. You in New York City, might as well move in. Like, Tell me about it. I don't go to New York City this much. In like the last six weeks, I've been going <laughs> every weekend. And I'm like, I almost didn't want to go to this this weekend, but a lot of my friends are going and um, a lot of people that I know. So, What was the name of the play you went to? 
Hamilton? It was so good. My girlfriend is still talking about it. We, uh, I, and I really was blown away with the performance. It was so awesome. What is this? Good. Hand on your cheek and breathe in and out. Yeah, cracked on the first one, which gets that movement, but just to be as comprehensive as possible. Best to do both moves for that shoulder. Why does that side keep moving? And the neck? Yeah, the right side. And uh, moving as in like getting tight? No, I can feel when you put your finger there, it hurts. It hurts down into here? Like this, like this here. So this muscle goes all the way down into your shoulder. Oh. So it's like the other side of your body. It's same spot that's been irritating you on the left. This is that right side muscle. Relax right here. Okay. Bend your knees, put your feet flat on the table. The secret tricks. The secret tricks. When people tense up, you can't get that movement you're looking for. Relax it here. Let me check how your movement. I'm not gonna adjust. Still pain there, right? Yeah. Because it didn't crack. It didn't crack. You know, you know by now. Yay! You gotta be sneaky. You gotta be sneaky. Good. Okay, let's come up. We'll see how you're doing. How's your back feeling? Better. Not Good. as tight. Especially when I put the shoulders back. Good. Yeah, and you learned the, the palms out technique. Mm -hmm. Keep doing that. Yeah, That's that really good. Well, not for the driving only, but this one. Oh, yeah. That's that gonna help too. Very good. Okay. Alrighty. So that's it from us. Thanks for watching. I'm your Sussex County chiropractor, Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. Chiropractic member, I've taken the pledge. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.